this guy's garage. Like and subscribe. The Colon uh, province uh, of uh, Saskatchewan, please. Good afternoon, sirs. My name is Mitch McAdam, and I'm one of the lawyers for the government of Saskatchewan. I just have a few questions for you today. First, Mr. Stewart, in your interview summary at page 20, you indicated that you were aware of the Federal Emergencies Act back in 2020 at the outset of the COVID-19 pandemic, and you mentioned that again this morning. So I take it that you are involved in the discussions back in 2020 about potentially invoking the Emergencies Act to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Isn't that true? That is true. And sir, I'm going to ask you a few very general questions about that time. I have some documents that I can pull up if you need to see them, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to pull them up unless it's necessary. But if you do need to refresh your memory, by all means, ask me to pull them up. My questions are going to be quite general. All right. To begin with, to begin with sir, you'd agree with me that in that case, there was a process of engagement with the provinces that spanned at least a couple of weeks? That is my recollection. And you'll agree with me that there was a letter that was sent by the Prime Minister to the Premier's formally initiating consultations under the Emergencies Act? That is my recollection. And you'll agree with me that that letter was followed up with a meeting between the Prime Minister and the Premiers to discuss the matter? Uh, I don't have any direct knowledge of that. I know there was a okay. call that was organized uh, for Minister Blair, who was Public Safety Minister at the time with his counterparts, to have a discussion about the potential utility of the Emergencies Act. Okay, but you're not aware of any uh, telephone conference call involving the Prime Minister and the Premiers? Not aware. Okay. And are you aware that the Premiers were given um, about a week to provide a formal written response to the idea of invoking the Emergencies Act to deal with the pandemic? Um, not in that specific sense, but okay. I was aware that but, they were given an opportunity to respond. And they were given some time to do so? Uh, that I don't, that's the specifics of it. I don't, I don't know about. Okay, so if I say they were given a week, you can't uh, agree or disagree with that? That is correct. Okay. But will you agree with me, sir, that the process that was used back in 2020 when there was discussion about invoking the Emergencies Act to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic was quite different than the process that was followed in February of this year before invoking the Act to deal with the blockades and protests? I would agree. Okay. Thank you, sir. Next, sir, I'd, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the FPT meetings that were discussed this morning. And Mr. Stewart, you talked about a meeting of deputy ministers that you attended on February 7th. Do you recall that meeting? Yes, it was a call. Okay. And Mr. Roshan, my understanding is that you attended a meeting of the uh, FPT Crime Prevention and Policing Committee on February the 11th. Do you recall that? Yes, I believe that's correct. Yes. And Mr. Stewart, would you agree with me that at the meeting on February 7th, at no time did you advise the provincial officials that were on that call that the federal government was contemplating invoking the Emergencies Act? That is correct. And Mr. Roshan, would you agree with me at the meeting on February 11th at no time did you or anyone else from um, Public Safety Canada advise the provincial and territorial officials on the call that the federal government was considering invoking the Federal Emergencies Act? That's my recollection, yes. Okay. And Mr. Stewart, would you agree with me that these opportunities, the deputy minister's meeting that you had and the meetings of the C CPP committee would have been a good opportunity to discuss the uh, potential invocation of the Emergencies Act with provincial officials? Had the invocation of the Act been a subject of acts of discussion, yes, but it wasn't. Okay, so at the time of these two meetings, it wasn't under act of discussion? Uh, in the time I did the meeting, it was not. So on February 7th, it was not? That's correct. And Mr. Roshan, when you had the meeting on February 11th, was the emergency act under active discussion at that time? 
Um, I'm trying to think at that time, I believe the situation of a national security threat was certainly uh, top of mind. And we were, by recollection and not having the document in front of me, um, I, I, my recollection is that we were looking at every available tool um, available to us and to provinces and territories and municipalities in order to be able to deal with the situation, the, the threat that seemed to be growing. So, uh, Miss, sorry, go ahead. Mr. Stewart, you're aware of a meeting that Mr. Dackelbaub from your department attended with officials from Alberta, Manitoba, Ontario and the RCMP on February 13th. That's a meeting that he uh, reported to you by email on Sunday night. Do you recall that? Yes, I do. Okay. And at that time, the uh, invocation of the Emergencies Act was under active consideration by the federal government, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And um, your information is that Mr. Dakobab or the other officials, federal officials on that call did not advise their provincial counterparts that the act was under active consideration, did they? I cannot say for certainty that any of them knew. Okay, so you're saying the federal officials that were on the call would not have known that the Federal Emergencies Act was under active consideration at that time? I, I, I'm not sure that they did. I, don't, I, don't, I can't okay. say for sure. You're so they right. couldn't have advised their provincial officials of that? Indeed, had they not known. Okay, uh, and, you, yeah. and as far as you know, they didn't advise provincial officials of that? I would agree. As far as... Thank you. So you're now out of time.